Hello and welcome to our time series smoothing tutorials. In one of our previous videos, we demonstrated how to make a smooth version of the International Airline Passenger Dataset using the Holt Winters Double Exponential Smoothing Function, or the DESMTH. You may click on the annotation to watch that video again, or click the link in the description box below. In that video, we showed you how to find optimal values for the smoothing factors alpha and beta. That was done using the Excel data tables to compute the sum of squared errors, or the SSE, between the two time series, and finding the set of values that minimize the SSE. In this tutorial, we will generate the smoothed version of the same data set, but we will let NumExcel's internal optimizer find the optimal values of the smoothing factors. Let's begin. Select the D4 cell. And in the formula bar, type DESMTH and click on the FX button on the left. The dialog box pops up. In the X field, select the input cells range. Lock the starting cell in the range. For the chronological order of the data, type 1 for ascending. Leave the beta and alpha fields blank, or you can enter initial values for the optimizer to use. Type true in the optimize field. Lastly, for the forecast horizon field, select A4. Copy the formula to the rows below it. Then plot the smooth time series next to the original data. Now let's compute the sum of squared errors, which is a measure for goodness of fit. Select G4. Then type SSE in the formula bar and click on the effects button on the left. In the X field, select the cells range of the original data series. And in the Y field, select the smooth time series up to the end of the original time series. And there you have the new SSE. Note that this value is lower than the one computed earlier. This is because the NumExcel software computed a new set of values for alpha and beta for each data point, instead of applying the same set of values to all data points like we did before. And also, previously, we limited the search for a finite set of values for alpha and beta. But NumExcel's optimizer does not have such restriction. Now you can see that using NumExcel for these kinds of forecasting tasks is very easy. That is it for now. Thank you for watching.